Now, I don't wish to offend anyone with that title, but it's blatantly obvious that there are plenty of Xmas noobs in the Battlefield 4 servers already, and uh, this is the kind of time of year that all the veterans and people like me, we wait for this time, because we can just kill people for days, constantly, and it just happens over and over and over again. And because they're so new to the game, they're not aware of what's going on, bless them, and we should probably cut them a little bit of slack, but hey, they're there. We should take advantage of it. Start racking up those XP points, guys. Now, if you're like me and have far too many XP boosts, I recommend chucking them on because obviously that will increase the amount of XP that you're going to be getting. So if there is a weapon that you've been wanting to unlock for a while or you've been wanting to get the attachments for that weapon, just start using it or at least working your way towards it and make sure you put the highest XP boosts on possible. You can start to really rank up and get through those levels and get to the things that you want to be playing with in Battlefield 4. Now, as you can see on the screen, the weapon that I'm using is the Ace-52 CQB, so that's what we're going to be talking about today, because this is sort of a little bit of a weapon review at the same time as talking about Christmas, because I found that this is the weapon that I wanted to rank up. It's the one that I've been wanting to use for a long time. I've been sort of stuck with the Ace-23 in the Assault class, but I decided to switch out to the Ace-52 CQB, and my god, am I happy that I did that. The ultimate advantage of using the 52 CQB is it has a higher damage model or higher damage output than most of the other weapons in the game. It does a max damage of 34 up to 8 meters. So if you're in close quarters combat, three shots and they're down. From 8 meters it drops off down to 50 meters and even then it's still doing a maximum damage of 20 per shot. So you're looking at a maximum 5 hit kill with this weapon at any range really. Now you have to consider that obviously it's a carbine, so it's not really supposed to be used for really long range combat. It doesn't mean that you can't use it, it just means that you're going to be held back a little bit by some of the other weapon statistics. The bullet velocity for this weapon caps out at 400 meters per second, which puts it in the mid-range category, and uh, it's sort of easy to work with, but especially for the medium to longer range targets, you will have to lead your target just very slightly. And if you add in the bullet drop to that, which is 15 meters per second squared, it's one of those weapons that's got more bullet drop than most, so if you're going for those longer range targets, you will have to aim slightly higher than you normally would. And to be honest, those are the only things that I can really find that bug me about the Ace-52 CQB. Apart from the fact that it does massive damage, I mean that should really be the deciding factor for you. For me it was, I always wanted to try it out and actually get properly good with it, start unlocking some specific battle packs for it, so I could get those attachments that I wanted to use. It was really the only deciding factor because the more damage you can put into somebody, the quicker you're going to drop them. Irrelevant of how fast the bullet speed is or how fast it fires a bullet every minute. It doesn't matter, this thing has more damage than most of the other weapons in the game and therefore, for me, at close and medium range, this is one of the weapons that I'm going to be using for a long time. Now, as the name might suggest, the Ace-52 CQB is from the Ace family of weapons. Now, I found that they all seem to sort of handle the same in terms of weapon statistics and in terms of attachments as well they all sort of handle the same whatever attachments you put on it but I've already found that with the Ace-23 that I use for the Assault class I don't need to use a barrel attachment and that's the same with the Ace-52 I just don't think it needs one none of the attachments that are available really benefit it in any way so I just find using the standard barrel is a good attachment using a stubby grip is always good stick a laser sight on there if you want to be a little bit more accurate at close range even though the damage is really going to sort of help you out there especially you don't even really need the laser sight you could just hit fire and especially because you're in such close range you're going to drop the guy very quickly anyway and the sight that I'm using so much at the moment is the Coyote Red Dot sight that thing is absolutely fantastic it gives you a massive viewing angle if you are a newer player to Battlefield 4, then I'd recommend the angled foregrip instead of using the stubby or the ergo grip, simply because the Ace-52 CQB and a lot of other weapons out there all have this first shot recoil multiplier, which is higher than the recoil than you'd have if you were just continually going through automatic fire. So for the Ace-52, it's 2.3, so that is a little bit higher than even some of the other weapons out there that usually have it around 2. So the angled foregrip reduces that first shot recoil multiplier by about 33%, so you're going to see an improvement with that, and you can keep your bullets on target when you first start shooting. Ultimately, controlling recoil is one of the hardest things to do in Battlefield because each weapon has a different type of recoil, and you have to adjust to that every time you change weapon. And especially for newer players, with something like a controller and thumbsticks, it can be quite hard to control the recoil. Now, if you're an experienced player, then I'm guessing you've learned that already. But if you have just got a brand new console for Christmas, 
just try and sort of learn the recoil first of all with the weapons. Start out with the starter weapons. The AK-12 doesn't really have any recoil, so when you start to get into some of the more assault weapons or if you're going through the engineer class, make sure you get a feel for that recoil before you start going ham on the enemies because it's a real asset to know the recoil of a weapon. You can control it so much more. Moving back to the weapon though, it's becoming one of my favourite ones in the whole game. I've been using my XP boost to make sure that I can unlock all those attachments a little bit quicker. Start ranking up, get some more battle packs to get more XP boost. I have so many XP boosts, it doesn't even comprehend how many I've got. But, ultimately, the Ace 52 CQB is a brilliant weapon and once you unlock it, it will be hard to go back to any sort of other carbine, really. Because of the higher damage model, you drop people so much quicker. It's got a low rate of fire, which means that you can keep the bullets on target all the time. And as I said, if you can learn to control the recoil, you really can drop people with this weapon extremely quickly. Just a couple of quick things before I end this video, however, I will be starting a new series of weapon comparisons in the new year between some of the weapons that are quite close in statistics or looks or something like that. So, for example, we've got the Ace 52 and the Ace 21 CQB in the same class of carbines and they're made by the same manufacturer, so what's the difference? I'll start to do some videos like that for you and I will be bringing back some Bad Company 2 gameplay sort of once every couple of weeks or so. I'm going to do some Bad Company 2 because I just love that game. But anyway guys, that is the end of the video. Leave some comments down below about what you got for Christmas in terms of gaming because I do try and read as many as I can. If you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like as it really does help me out and as I said, comments are always appreciated. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.